Hello there. I'd like to introduce you to another multiplication strategy called the Japanese multiplication strategy. One thing that is different about this strategy is that um, when working it out, you don't really use numbers, at least initially. So if you're more prone to enjoy drawing or doodling, this strategy might just be right for you. So our first problem we'll do is 12 times 13. We'll go ahead and draw a diagonal line here, which will represent the 1 in the tens place in the 12, and two more up here for the 2 in the ones place. For the 13, we'll come across one line for the 1 in the tens place, and down here, three lines for the 3 in the ones place. We'll, we'll circle on um, these intersections in the lines right here. These intersections in the middle will go together. And then this last intersection of lines will go together. For me, it was helpful to think of them in vertical lines. It may help you, it may not. But for me, each of these lines represents a place value. So this first line would be the ones place the second would be the tens, and the third would be the hundreds. How to solve this problem now is we'll go ahead and count the number of intersections in each of these circles. So for the ones place, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. We'll write a six down here. In the tens place, we have one, two, three, four, five. We'll go ahead and write a five, and in the hundreds, you can see we only have one. So our answer here 12 times 13 is 156. Let's go ahead and do another problem. We'll do 15 times 23. So we'll go ahead and start by making our diagonal lines. We'll make one here for the one in the tens place, and then five above it for the five in the ones place. One, two, three, four, five. Now we'll come across diagonally, make two lines together for the two in the tens place, and come down here and make three for the ones place. So we'll go ahead and circle these together, circle the ones in the middle, and circle these two on the outside. This is our hundreds place, tens place, and ones place. So counting up the intersections, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 for the ones place. In the tens place, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, don't forget to come to the bottom. 11, 12, 13 in the tens place. In the hundreds, you can see we have two. So if you were to count, like we just did, and get two digits for a certain place, what we're going to do is we're simply going to carry that digit over into the next place. We'll keep our five from the ones place and carry this one over. The 13 will now become 14 because we brought this one over. We'll keep our four and carry the one over to the hundreds place and our two now becomes a three for the answer of 345. So when you're solving these, remember if you do end up with a double digit right here, you want to be sure to carry that second number in the tens place over to the next place because we can't keep a 15 in the ones place. Let's go ahead and do one last problem. We'll do 37 times 19. So we'll make three lines together or the three in the tens place, and come over and make seven. One, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven. For our 19, we only have one line for the tens place and nine lines for the ones place. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Looks like that will leave us with a lot of counting to do. Ever ones place, tens place, and hundreds place. I'm gonna go ahead and write that down here. All right, <clears throat> let's start counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63. I count 63 intersections there. For our tens place, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. 34. And the hundreds. Last but not least, and easiest, we have a three. All right, so we'll go ahead and bring a three from our ones. We'll keep the three and carry the six. So if we add six to 34, we end up with 40. We'll keep the zero and carry the four. And the three plus four will be seven. So that will give us an answer of 703. So in conclusion, this is the Japanese multiplication strategy, and it's helpful to use when multiplying larger numbers together. 